everybody. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. In the commentary box, it's uh, a great view up here, Alan, and a great game, I think, in prospect. Yeah, we've got the best seats in the house and uh, looking forward to an entertaining match here. The match today sees Fulham against Aston Villa. Well, here we've got Aston Villa. Alan, uh, thoughts on them? Well, it's going to keep going, haven't they? The middle of the pack and uh, nothing to get too excited about but uh, you're playing for pride and uh, you'll be playing for points out here could be his game today the way he's been playing recently scored three in the last three another one here we'll get down a treat We can check on the Fulham lineup. 4 3 3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. The Aston Villa team for this game. James Chester plays with Nathan Baker as the centre-backs. And they're starting, interestingly, with three forwards. One of the Premier League ever-presents from its inception in 1992 until the most awful of seasons, 15-16, and relegation rock-bottom. And somebody who has Villa in his heart, Alan, what did you make of it? Well, it's just been a, a tale of woe, hasn't it? It's been a disastrous few years, really. And so sad because it's a big club, as we know, and they should be doing a lot better. Connor Huriha. It's looking good, this move. An opening for Aston. In with a chance. That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. There's some potential in this move. The shot's on. It's Villa's corner. A very uh, good effort earlier, wasn't that, Alan? Here it is. Maybe lost his head a touch there when uh, a placement would have served him a bit better than that. Goes for goal with the header, and they cut it out. Safety first. On to the attack now. Villa Here's the chance. They have taken the lead. And this is a difficult skill to place it from that distance outside the box with that accuracy superb a good look here again by the replay of the goal that looked very good indeed but the Move has broken down. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Malone. He's got his shot off now. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Brilliant football from this team. And the cross comes in now. Well, he's put it in quickly, but not accurately, and defended comfortably. Let's look at it again. It takes some doing to beat a keeper from this kind of distance when you're not slamming it. And he didn't. He stroked it in third. Nice. And here's the shot. A oh, well saved. 
that's half time at 1 0. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Well, the losing team have got to do something. And this is it, the substitution. Coming onto the pitch, number eight, Scott Parker. Good first half for Aston Villa. But now they've got to do it. Connor Huriha. Shot off. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point. But sometimes a two goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. In terms of shots, there is a real gap between these two sides reflected in the recent goal. But in terms of form, you'd have called it even, wouldn't you? Well, you would. And I'd like to see the stats at the end as to how many sh shots they are going to rack up because they've been peppering that goal. Kearney. Could be dangerous. He's tackled well. It was a good challenge. This led to a corner. Well, they've got a midfield maestro in their side today. He's been the uh, conductor to the orchestra, hasn't he? Look at those touches. That assist he provided really was a beauty. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Comes in strongly. Hogan. Tackle goes in. Got to be. Goal! Well, I'm not sure if he intended that, but that's crept just under the bar and it was an unstoppable shot. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get to, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, he's run his race the forward, including two goals. He certainly finished those chances well. And uh, it just gives someone else an opportunity for the remainder of the game. It does, and it'll do his confidence the world a good going into the next few weeks. And as we all know, that's what strikers thrive on, confidence. given them a comfortable situation here three now shot up got in the way at full extension the goalkeeper makes the save corner to be taken Shoots! Well, it's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite. Could be dangerous. Shots on here. Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. The shot's on. And the goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Corner coming up.
The shot gets blocked. He's got his shot off now. He's made the save. And the winners here, Aston Villa. As a match, it was rather one-sided, wasn't it? Because of the capacity of one team to dominate the football. Well, it was a football lesson. It was pretty humiliating for the inferior team. They just didn't get into it. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team.